Hi there viewers. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a risk factor for a number of serious health complications, including cardiovascular disease. In addition to the fact that it makes leading a healthy lifestyle more difficult, uncontrolled high blood pressure is likely the most significant health risk, as it is the primary contributor to approximately 45% of all strokes. The beverages that we drink might have a positive impact on our blood pressure, in addition to the medications and changes in lifestyle that play a significant role in blood pressure management. In today's video, we have mentioned 10 drinks that may help lower blood pressure due to their amazing nutritional values. Always consult a dietitian or a healthcare advisor before making any changes to your diet or if you have any concerns about certain foods and their benefits. Now, let's begin with the video. One, hibiscus tea. Tea made from hibiscus flowers has been found to contain anthocyanins, which are powerful antioxidants. Because of their anti-inflammatory properties, anthocyanins may aid in the reduction of inflammation, which is one of the factors that contributes to high blood pressure. In addition to this, endothelial cells line the interior of blood vessels and are an extremely important component in the process of controlling blood pressure. It has been demonstrated that anthocyanins improve endothelial function. This leads to the relaxation of blood vessel walls and an increase in blood flow, both of which may contribute to a reduction in blood pressure. According to the findings of a study, participants who had hypertension and drank hibiscus tea were found to have significant reductions in both their systolic and diastolic blood pressures. They gave 65 adults with slightly elevated blood pressure ranging in age from 30 to 70 years. Hibiscus tea, or a placebo, drink for a period of six weeks. People who drank hibiscus tea reported a decrease in their systolic blood pressure of approximately 7.2 points, whereas those who had the placebo reported a much smaller drop in their blood pressure of only 1.3 points. Health and wellness news. Hit that subscribe button up to date on all our great bestie content. Two, beetroot juice. Beetroot juice is a natural source of dietary nitrates, which the body converts into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps increase blood flow throughout the body by relaxing the blood vessels and allowing more blood to pass through them. This helps organs and tissues receive oxygen and nutrients in a more efficient manner, which in turn reduces the amount of work that the heart has to do. The fact that the heart does not have to pump as forcefully also contributes to a reduction in blood pressure. In Sydney, researchers recruited 60 people who had high blood pressure to take part in a study that was carried out over the course of four weeks. It was demonstrated that individuals with hypertension who consumed beetroot juice on a daily basis experienced a significant drop in their blood pressure. It is important to keep in mind that beetroot juice contains a relatively high amount of natural sugars. As a result, those who are managing their diabetes or watching the amount of sugar they consume should drink it in moderation. Three, green tea. The catechins in green tea, in particular epicatechins and EGCG, are what give green tea its health benefits. Antioxidants like these help protect against oxidative stress and inflammation both of which may play a role in the development of high blood pressure. Green tea's ability to lower oxidative stress may contribute to improved blood pressure regulation and vessel relaxation. For example, consumption of green tea on a regular basis was shown in 13 controlled studies, with a total of 1,367 participants to be associated with a lower risk of developing hypertension. According to the findings, drinking green tea resulted in a 1.98 millimetre mercury drop in blood pressure, which is a significant reduction. 4. Pomegranate juice. It is well known that pomegranate juice contains a high concentration of antioxidants, including polyphenols. It is possible that polyphenols improve the function of endothelial cells, making them more effective at regulating blood pressure. Nitric oxide, when produced by healthy endothelial cells, has the ability to relax blood vessel walls and increase blood flow. 
Pomegranate juice consumption was linked to a significant drop in participants' blood pressure in a study that included both males and females who were all taking medication to treat hypertension. The results showed that participants' systolic blood pressure dropped by 5% after they consumed 50 milliliters of pomegranate juice on a daily basis for two weeks. In addition to that, pomegranate juice may also support heart health by reducing cholesterol levels. Pomegranate juice, despite the fact that it is generally safe to consume, contains a lot of calories. Therefore, it is essential to watch portion sizes in order to avoid taking in an excessive amount of calories. 5. Oat milk. Oat milk is a dairy alternative that includes beta-glucans, a type of soluble fibre that is found in oats. It has been demonstrated that beta-glucans reduce levels of LDL cholesterol, which is also known as bad cholesterol. Since high LDL cholesterol is a risk factor for hypertension, reducing it with beta-glucans may contribute to better heart health and lower BP. In addition, beta-glucans might be able to help reduce the amount of sodium that the digestive tract absorbs. Consuming less sodium may help reduce blood pressure because too much sodium causes the body to retain water, which in turn raises blood pressure. Additionally, in a 12-week study involving 97 individuals with elevated blood pressure, the impact of consuming foods containing oat beta-glucan was examined. Those with higher body mass indexes experienced significant reductions of 8.3 millimetres of mercury in systolic blood pressure and 3.9 points in diastolic blood pressure. Moreover, the beta-glucan group showed declines in peak insulin levels, highlighting the potential benefits of it in blood pressure and insulin management. 6. Celery juice. Due to the presence of thalides in celery juice, it is gaining popularity for its purported ability to support healthy blood pressure levels. Thalides are naturally occurring compounds that have the ability to relax the walls of blood vessels, resulting in an increase in blood flow and a decrease in blood pressure. Apart from that, there is the possibility that thalides have calcium channel blocking properties. Calcium channels are involved in the process of regulating the constriction of blood vessels. Thalides may be able to lower blood pressure by inhibiting the contraction of blood vessels, which in turn leads to relaxation and a reduction in blood pressure. In addition to that, thalides might also have a slight diuretic effect, which would mean that they would encourage the excretion of sodium and water that are in excess in the body. Because of this, the volume of blood in the body may decrease, leading to a drop in blood pressure. 7. Lemon water. Lemon water is a straightforward and invigorating beverage that has been shown to have the potential to support healthy blood pressure levels. Lemons are an excellent source of vitamin C, which has been shown to stimulate the production of nitric oxide and contribute to improved blood vessel relaxation and reduced blood pressure. Oxidative stress, which is defined as an excessive amount of potentially damaging free radicals, has been linked to high blood pressure. A potent antioxidant, like vitamin C, may repair the harm that free radicals do to the body's blood vessels, lowering oxidative stress and inflammation. Thus, it may help keep blood pressure in healthy ranges by reducing these effects. In addition to this, there is evidence that vitamin C may help improve the stiffness of the arteries. Maintaining arterial flexibility supports healthy blood pressure regulation, which is important for maintaining healthy blood pressure. A lot of small, randomised controlled studies that lasted two weeks looked at how taking vitamin C supplements could lower blood pressure. They found that the supplements did have a significant effect. On the other hand, the high acidity of lemon juice may have a detrimental effect on dental health if it is consumed on a regular basis. When drinking, using a straw may help reduce the amount of contact that teeth have with liquids. 8. Tomato juice. Tomato juice is a source of lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that may contribute to lower blood pressure by promoting blood vessel relaxation. In addition to this, tomatoes are an excellent source of the mineral potassium, which is well known for its ability to assist in the control of high blood pressure. Potassium helps balance sodium levels in the body, and adequate potassium intake is associated with lower BP. Aside from that, tomato compounds, including lycopene and other phytonutrients, 
have been linked to improved endothelial function. Healthy endothelial cells release nitric oxide, a molecule that relaxes blood vessels and lowers BP. Research suggests that regular consumption of tomato products, including tomato juice, may have a positive effect on blood pressure. In a study in Kiriyama, Japan, 481 residents were provided with unsalted tomato juice for a year. Among those with prehypertension or hypertension, the systolic blood pressure dropped by approximately 4.2 millimetres of mercury, and the diastolic blood pressure dropped by approximately 2.4 points on average. 9. Almond milk. Almond milk is a dairy-free alternative rich in magnesium, a mineral that plays a role in regulating blood pressure. Magnesium helps relax blood vessel walls, reducing resistance and facilitating blood flow. In addition to that, magnesium plays a role in insulin sensitivity and better insulin sensitivity is associated with lower BP. Insulin resistance may lead to hypertension and magnesium may help improve insulin function. Moreover, it is important for cells to have the right amount of magnesium because it controls the movement of sodium and potassium across cell membranes. This equilibrium is essential for the regulation of blood pressure as a higher sodium level in the blood has a tendency to raise BP. In a research study, scientists looked at the results of 16 different experiments involving 1,128 people. Their analysis showed that eating almonds may actually lower the bottom number in your blood pressure reading, which is called diastolic blood pressure or DBP. On average, it lowered DBP by 1.30 millimetres of mercury. 10. Watermelon smoothie. Watermelon is a refreshing fruit known for its high water content and natural sweetness. However, it's also a source of citrulline, an amino acid that may support blood pressure management. L-citrulline is converted in the body into another amino acid called L-arginine, which serves as a precursor for nitric oxide production. Earlier in this video, we mentioned how nitric oxide works as a powerful vasodilator, meaning it relaxes and widens blood vessels. This dilation lowers resistance to blood flow and helps reduce BP. A study involving 40 participants found that supplementation with watermelon extract for six weeks led to a significant reduction in blood pressure. For systolic blood pressure, this shows a drop of approximately 11.8 millimetres of mercury and for diastolic blood pressure, a drop of approximately 6.9 points on average. What are the risks associated with higher blood pressure? If it is not brought under control, high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, may be associated with a number of significant health risks. The following is a list of some of the potential dangers that are associated with having an elevated blood pressure. 1. Heart disease. When someone has high blood pressure, their heart has to work harder to pump blood, which may cause their arteries to thicken and narrow, which in turn raises their risk of developing heart disease. It may be difficult for the heart to receive the necessary amounts of oxygen and nutrients, which may result in chest pain also known as angina or even heart attack. 2. Stroke. A higher risk of having a stroke is associated with having high blood pressure because it may cause damage to the brain's fragile blood vessels. This damage may result in a lack of blood flow to parts of the brain, which may lead to neurological deficits or even death in extreme cases. 3. Kidney damage. The kidneys are responsible for removing waste products and extra fluid from the blood. Long-term hypertension may impair the kidney's ability to function normally, which may increase the risk of developing kidney disease or even leading to kidney failure. 4. Vision problems. The delicate blood vessels found in the eyes are susceptible to damage when a person has high blood pressure. This may result in retinopathy, a condition in which the blood vessels in the retina become damaged, which may lead to problems with vision or even blindness. 5. Cognitive decline. Hypertension may be one factor that contributes to a decline in cognitive function as well as an increased risk of conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. When blood vessels in the brain become constricted, the amount of blood and oxygen that may reach brain cells may decrease. 6. Sexual dysfunction. 
When a person has high blood pressure, the blood flow throughout their body may be affected, including the blood flow to their genital organs. Because of this, men may have trouble getting or keeping an erection, and both men and women may experience a decrease in their level of sexual satisfaction as a result. 7. Metabolic Syndrome It is not uncommon for people to suffer from high blood pressure in addition to other risk factors, such as obesity, high cholesterol and insulin resistance. This collection of risk factors is referred to as metabolic syndrome. These factors contribute to an increased likelihood of developing cardiovascular disease as well as type 2 diabetes. 8. Complications during pregnancy. Preeclampsia is a condition that is characterised by high blood pressure during pregnancy. This condition may affect the blood flow to the placenta, which could potentially harm the development of the baby. Because of the significant dangers it poses to the mother, as well as the developing child, it is essential that the mother be carefully monitored and managed throughout her pregnancy. We've discussed many drinks depending on their health benefits and potential risks associated with lowering blood pressure. But as we know, our daily diets play a crucial role in maintaining our overall health. If you're looking for more food-related videos, here's one we recommend you check out. Watch. 50 foods you must avoid if you want to lose weight. Or watch, change your life with the 12 healthiest foods you should eat every morning. Which drink from today's video is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section.